Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about the differences between disagreement and disrespect. Because a lot of times in the heat of a disagreement, it can feel like disrespect. So I'm going to point out five differences between disagreement and disrespect so you'll know which one it is. The first way to tell the difference is with a disagreement, you are continuing to have a conversation with the person and they're having a conversation with you. So what does that mean? One person's talking, one person is listening, and then the other person talks and the other person listens. It is a two-way conversation versus in disrespect. It's usually one person that is talking, trying to get their way, interrupting, not wanting to listen to the other person. It's more of a one-way conversation instead of a two-way conversation. John Maxwell says, in a disagreement, two people continue talking, but if it's disrespect, that two-way conversation ends. They quit talking. So a good way to tell the difference between disagreement and disrespect in a two-way conversation is, is the other person doing most of the talking? And then when it's your turn to talk, are they not engaged in listening with you? And it's important to remember that if you're the one that's disagreeing, that you want to keep it as a disagreement rather than disrespect. So you want to make sure and not interrupt them. You want to make sure when it is their turn to talk, to actively listen and really engage through your body language, through your facial expressions, that you really are truly listening to them. The second difference between disagreement and disrespect is in a disagreement, People are not putting down the other person's point of view or belief or opinion, even though they disagree. They're not considering it less than their own point of view or belief. They're saying, this is different, I don't agree with you, but they're not making the other person feel like their opinion or their belief is of lesser value than their own. You may have heard the phrase before, and I actually love this phrase, and that is, Maybe we just need to agree to disagree. What you're saying in that situation is, I'm not dismissing your opinions. I'm not dismissing your point of view. However, let's just agree that we can't agree on this. When somebody's disrespecting another person though, that is when they really are making it known that the other person's ideas, beliefs, points of view do not matter or are not as important as theirs. It's similar to the differences of someone who's being assertive versus somebody who's being aggressive. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Now, if you're liking this, don't forget to hit the like button. The third difference with disagreement and disrespect is by continually stating, this is your opinion, this is your point of view, rather than saying, you're wrong, these are the facts. Because even if you feel that way, that's where you start edging over into disrespecting the other person because they obviously believe the facts are something else unless they are lying about it. The next difference between the two all comes down to body language and facial expressions. If two people are disagreeing about something, they will still give the other person respectful body language, meaning they will still stay engaged in the conversation like I was talking about earlier. They'll have maybe a neutral expression on their face. They will give the other person their full attention. Whereas with disrespect, that's when body language starts either getting guarded or starts shutting down. And things like avoiding eye contact, things like rolling of the eyes, and I've got a video above and in the description below that is all about eye rolling and what it means. Or just turning away from the person, or staring at your cell phone, looking around, or getting the closed guarded body language of the crossed arms. So even if someone doesn't mean disrespect when they give this kind of body language, it can be perceived by the other person as disrespect. And so it's always great to maintain the neutral body language, the neutral facial expressions. The next difference between the two is how people are treating each other after the conversation. With disagreements, like I said, a lot of times you just agree to disagree, but you don't treat the other person 
poorly afterwards. You don't go into passive aggressive behavior. You don't ignore the other person or quit speaking to them because you have a disagreement. When you have a disagreement, it is, I'm still disagreeing with this person, but what I'm disagreeing with is the situation or the point of view. I'm not going to disrespect them as a human being. So you're treating them the way that you did before the disagreement. With disrespect, that's when you start treating the other person differently, whether it is holding a grudge or cutting off all communication with the other person or changing your tone of voice and your demeanor when you're with them. Think about it. All our lives, we've had disagreements with people. And when we were growing up, when we were children, we didn't really didn't have control over our emotions. We would just get angry and mad about stuff when we didn't get our way. But once we're adults, when we have disagreements with other people, we need to make sure and not cross the line into disrespect. Like I said, a lot of it can be compared to being assertive versus being aggressive. Be sure and check out my next video above about assertive versus aggressive. And let me know which video you like best, this one or the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.